Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Kelsey. I'm Kelsey Ogie here on YouTube and on Instagram. And today we are doing a very mini short farm ashtanga for those days when you just don't have a lot of time, but you still want to get on your mat and practice. So we'll definitely have a little warm up, a little stretch, a little strength, and we will wrap it up in Shavasana. You can get on with your day. So let's go ahead and start at the very top of our mat. And if you can, base the big toes touching or feet parallel if that works better for you. Sitting it nice and tall, a little tuck, maybe of the chin to lengthen through the back of the neck. Let's bring our hands to our heart and prayer. Inhale with your nose. And together, let's do three Surya Namaskar A and then two Surya Namaskar B and begin together, arms down by the sides and some sweep the heat. Inhale, lift the arms and the eyes, maybe you touch palms. Exhale as you fold Uttanasana. Inhale, glance up. Exhale, let's step back, top of that push-up, and then elbows in, gaze forward as you lower down Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing Urdhamukha, and exhale, Adhamukha, moving into downward facing dog. And begin to activate that Ujjayi breathing in and out through the nose. Strong active legs, strong active shoulders. On your next inhale, let's glance up. Exhale, nice and easy. Step into the top of our mat, inhaling right to that half lift. Exhale, full reaching with the crown of your head, Uttanasana again. Inhale, rise all the way up, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, Sabra Sweet Tahi. Two more times, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale as you step, or maybe you jump back, lowering through Chaturanga, chest forward. Inhale, pull yourself through your arms. Exhale, push your hips high, downward facing. Really anchoring down at the base of the index finger and the thumbs. If you can straighten your legs, lifting the kneecaps. Push the floor away, lots of strength through the upper body. Hollowing out your low belly. And breathing nice and smooth. Last breath. Glancing up. Let's exhale, coming right to the top of our mat. Maybe a little jump right to that half lift. Exhaling, fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach tall. Exhale, Samba Svitihi. Let's begin again one more time. Letter A, inhale. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Arda. Exhale, step or jump back through Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Settle in, five breaths. Maybe just eat. Past the tip of the nose or past the um, end of the navel. Just don't strain your neck. It works for you. Sinking through the heels if you're able to. But no worries if they don't reach. Let's shift forward, glancing up. A little exhale as you step or jump top of the mat. Hold it in. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, palms down by the sides. For your Samasthiti. All right, now two Surya Namaskar Bs. Bend the knees, sit back, reach tall. Utkatasana, exhale, hinge at the hips and fold. Uttanasana. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. You can always use the knees if you need that. Upward facing. And exhale, downward facing. And move right into warrior one. So step that right foot forward. Left heel commits flat. Inhale as you reach high. Exhale as the hands come back down. Step that right foot back. Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Left side, warrior one. Left foot steps up. Inhaling, rise up. Exhale, come right back down. Push the floor away, step back. Chaturanga. 
Inhale, pull your heart through your arms. Exhale, roll over your toes, down dog. And breathe. Getting calm. Focus your mind. Two more breaths, just like that. Now glance up towards your fingers, towards your thumbs. Exhale as you step forward, jump. Inhaling that half lift. Exhale, fold it in. Bend the knees, sit back, ending at Uttatasana. And exhale, Samasvitihi. And one more time, just like that. Sorry, now Scar B. Bend the knees, sit down. Into your heels, exhale, straighten your legs and fold. Inhale, lengthen your heart, glance up. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Virabhadrasana, letter A, right foot steps up. Inhaling, reach, look up high, exhale. Hands come down and vinyasa. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing, left side, step it up. Anchor your tailbone. Exhale, hands come right back down, step back. Inhale, feel your heart open, lengthen your legs. Exhale, downward facing. Remember to keep that low belly hollowed out. Triceps spiraling down towards the ground. Spine is nice and long. Last breath. Let's make our way to the top of our mat, stepping or a little jump. Right to that half lift, long spine, exhale, fold, reach with the crown of your head, bend the knees, sit back. Utkatasana, exhale, Samasthiti. And we begin with our standing postures. Let's go ahead and do Padmushtasana. Step forward, jump the feet, hips width. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, reach down, hook the big toes with the first two fingers. Inhale, lift your chin, exhale, fold it in. Bringing your elbows in by the shins. Really scooping out your little belly. Shifting out of the heels and into the arches. Feel strong. Sliding your shoulders away. That way you have lots of space for your neck. Inhale, let's lengthen, glance up. Exhale, go ahead and grab your waist and inhale, rise up all the way. Little jump right back to Samasthiti. All right, Utina Trikonasana. Inhale, step open to the right. Right toes turn all the way out. Left toes turn in, arms open to a T. Inhale, get long. And exhale, hold. Right hand down, left arm up. Really reaching through that top hand. Strong, active legs. Belly button pulls in and up towards the ribs, and we breathe. Take one more breath. And as you inhale, release the big toe, rise up through center, switch your feet, turn the right toes in, turn the left toes out, reach with that left hand and through the hips. Exhale, left hand down, right arm floats. And really think about reaching from fingertip to fingertip, shoulders sliding down, spine is nice and long. Maybe you're looking towards that top hand, but straighten your neck. Do what works best for you. Last breath here. Glancing down. Inhale, rise up through center. And let's step back to the top of our mat. Samasthiti again. And here we go. Uttita Parchvatanasana. Inhale, step open to the right. Feet a bit wider this time. Right toes turn all the way out. Left toes turn in. Bend that right knee deeply, arms open to a T. And as you exhale, reach into that right hand and either right elbow towards right knee or right hand all the way to the floor. Left arm extends up and over the ear. 
Really roll that right knee open from high on the inner groin. Find that external hip rotation. Tuck those right glutes underneath. Feeling nice and strong and substantiated. Glance down, inhale, rise through center. Switch your feet as you exhale. Right toes turn in, left toes turn out. Reach into that right hand, that right, I'm sorry, left hand, left armpit, and left elbow down or left hand to the floor. Really feel that external rotation of the left hip as you roll the left knee open. Lift your pelvic floor, looking towards that top hand, maybe just towards the top elbow. Strong legs, inhale, let's rise through center, feet parallel, exhale, samasthiti. Prasarita Padottanasana, grab the waist and step open to the right. Feet remain parallel. Toes can slightly face out if needed that. Inhale, lengthen. Let's go for letter A. Exhale. Fold. Bring the hands down between the feet. Inhale, lengthen again. Exhale. Fold. Walk the hands back. Now what's important is that we keep the elbows bending in towards each other so that they stay in alignment with the shoulders. Pressing right through the center of the ankles. And letting the hips shift forward now so that we can really get the most out of this fold. Next inhale, glance up. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, rise up all the way. Let's prepare for letter C. Arms open to a T. Bring your arms to your low back and interlace your fingers. Squeeze your shoulder blades towards each other. Inhale, exhale, fold. And we're just stretching out the wrists and the shoulders. No need to force. Next inhale, pull through your hands, rise all the way up. Exhale, look forward to avoid dizziness. And when you're ready, stepping the right foot up with the left, samasthiti, very nice. Swing your arms around behind your back, grab your bind for prasvottanasana, and then turning all the way to the back of your mat, turning your left toes in slightly. I like to grab opposite elbow, but you could take prayer hands, upside down prayer hands, or press your fists up to you. Inhale, lengthen, and then exhale, fold over that right leg. After you've found a nice deep fold, really think about kind of shifting forward into that right foot. What a difference that that makes. If you have your hands in prayer, remember to activate your shoulders by lifting your elbows up as if they could touch behind your back. Reaching with your chin. Strong legs, strong core. Inhale, let's rise all the way up. Exhale, switch your feet exactly. Turning all the way to the front of our mats this time. Inhale, get long. And exhale, fold over the left leg this time. Once you've found that fold, remember, let's get that shift forward, really stepping into that left foot. Reach with your chin, and then as far as you can get, you can look towards the big toe, or you can drop your head in if that straightens your neck at all. Feel like you're stretching the mat between your feet, really pressing down on the base of the big toe on that front foot. Strong core, inhale, rise. All the way to the top, and then exhale, release your bind, and some of speed to heat. Very good. All right. Let's go ahead and do Utida Hasapada Ushtasana. So good for balance, so good for that strength. Step the feet hips width, left hand on hip, right hand reaches straight out in front of you, and either floating up the knee and grabbing onto the knee, or floating the whole leg up straight, catch the big toe. Once you have it with the first two fingers, then you exhale, fold. If you have the knee, you don't have to fold over it. Think about squaring your shoulders, squaring your hips. Little point to your toe. 
You're folded, let's rise up. And letter B, right leg opens to the right. And maybe the drishti towards the left. Staying calm, staying focused. That's how we stay balanced. Trust that standing leg. Inhale, let's come back through center. Again, bowing over that leg, go a little deeper. And let's keep that right leg lifted, both hands on hips. So if you have the knee, still let's try to straighten out that leg. Stand up as tall as you can. Don't lean forward, don't lean backward. A little internal rotation of that right leg. Pointing the toe, lift an inch. And exhale, let's lower it down. Second side. Hopefully this is your stronger balancing leg. And again, reach that left hand out in front of you. And again, either floating the knee or the big toe up. If you have the big toe, you can fold over the leg. Remember that shoulder is going to want to come forward. Draw it back. Feel all four corners of that right foot. Whatever your standing leg is, feel it strong and stable, rooting in the earth. Rise up. Open that hip. Let her be. She can turn in the opposite direction. I know that definitely challenges things, but try. And then come back through center. Let her seat fold over that leg again. And then both hands are on the hips. Keep that left leg reaching. Little point of the toe or a Debbie point. Internal rotation, a little more to lift. Straighten it if you can. And exhale, lower it down. Very good. Let's vinyasa together. Inhale, reach the arms high. Pull the little belly in as we fold. Inhale, lengthen, lift your head. Exhale, step forward, jump back through your chaturanga. Inhale, Bordha Mukha. Exhale, Adha Mukha. And we move into Utkatasana. So push the floor away, glance up, a little step or jump to the top of your mat, face the big toes touching, sink down, bend the knees, and reach the arms high. So you want to sit back into the heels, internally rotating your upper arm bones, rolling them in towards each other as you reach high, looking towards the thumbs, squeeze the legs towards each other, breath is deep, nice and active. Sink an inch, let's feel it, and exhale, straighten the legs, full, hinge at your hips, drop your head. Inhale, glance up, let's vinyasa, exhale, step or jump back through your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, exhale, downward facing. All right, we move into the warrior postures. So, Vira Bhadrasana, letter A, step that right foot up between your hands, pivot that back heel flat, and let's rise up. Arms reach high, we touch palms if we can, and glance toward the thumb. So, if you have to keep the arms parallel, that's okay. But work on getting that internal hip or shoulder rotation as you reach the hands nice and high, glancing towards the thumbs. Keep the knee and the hip and the ankle all in this nice straight alignment. Don't let the knee roll open or dump in. Lift the pelvic floor, pull the low belly in, sink an inch. And as you exhale, turning all the way towards the back of the mat, so draw that right knee in. Left toes point all the way out. And now bend the left knee deeply. Just gently glancing towards the thumbs. You don't have to drop the head back. Just a little peek up. Let's check in on that alignment. How is the knee and the angle? Don't let it roll out. Staying strong on your legs. Sink in, feel it. And as you exhale, peel open, warrior two. Virabhadrasana, the letter B. So let's sink into that left knee. Still, we want this nice alignment. Everything's lining up. Shoulders are down and away from the ears. A little tuck in of the chin so we lengthen the back of the neck. Looking over that left hand, fingertips are together. 
Low belly is in, spine is long. Pull into that right hand, sink. And then straighten that left leg, turn the left toes in, turn the right toes out. Second side, we're almost done with the standing postures. Right knee bends deeply. We're heel to arch. So big external rotation. So pull this right knee open from high on the inner groin. Lift your pelvic floor, Mula Bandha. Reach into those fingertips, both directions. Let's sink one more time. And exhale, cartwheel the hands down around that front foot, push the ground away and step back through your Chaturanga. Inhale. Pull yourself through, strong, long legs. Exhale, downward facing. Very nice, you're gonna come through to seated. So looking towards the fingers, a little jump across the ankles and sit down, send the legs out in front of you. We begin with Dandasana. Bring the hands just outside of the hips. Push the floor away, push the thighs down into the ground. Flex the toes back towards the face. Pelvic floor lifts, low belly sucks in, spine is long, and then we drop the chin and breathe. Now this looks like it's just a super easy, chill, seated posture, but everything should be active. Quads are active. All of the legs are really engaged. All your bandhas, they're working, they're lifted, they're sealing up. Breath is deep. As you inhale, open your eyes, lift your chin, and exhale, pull that low belly in, and fold Hashimotanasana. Hook the big toes if you can. Inhale, straighten the arms, look up. Exhale, fold. We reach with the chest, with the heart. Think about reaching with the chin as it lengthens through the sternum. Now, if you can't grab the big toes and you've got to bend the knees a little bit, that's okay. But the more that you can focus on a long spine, activating your quadriceps, engaging your abs, the easier these forward folds are going to get. So think about compression, think about active legs. It's not just this seated, passive stretch, but it's really, really a lot of engagement. Let's move right into Purvottanasana from here. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale completely. Now let's move right into Purvottanasana. Bring the hands behind the hips, pointing towards the glutes, towards the toes. Now you can always take reverse table where you bend the knees and lift the hips. But if you're able, reverse plank. Press into those hands. Roll the shoulders back. Open the heart. Shoulder blades squeeze together. And we begin to lift the hips, activate the legs and push the toes down. And you can drop the head back, if that makes sense for you. But you don't have to. If you have blood pressure issues, you know if it's safe for you or not. You don't want to do it if you have any vertigo issues either. And breathe. Lift those hips. Strong, active legs. One more breath. Exhale, lower it down. And let's vinyasa. So we're going to cross the ankles, push ourselves up, send the feet back and chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Let's come back through to seated. So glancing forward. Maybe you're starting to jump through. Maybe you just cross the ankles and sit down. Be where you need to be. Let's move right into Janu Shashasana. Bend that right knee deeply. Let the right knee fall open to the side. And then we're gonna kind of shift forward into that left leg, locking it in. Turning over that left leg with the sternum. Inhale, get long. Exhale, let's fold. So if you can't grab the ankle or catch the bind, you can grab the shin. You can use a strap. That's okay. Be where you need to be. Looking towards the big toes, left toes. Flex back towards the face. A nice stretch over the right low back. Last breath. Inhale, let's lengthen. Exhale. 
Inhale, rise up all the way. Let's switch sides. You can vinyasa in between if you'd like. Right leg is straight. Bend that left knee up. Let it fall open to the side. Little shift in, locking it into place. Right toes flex back. Inhale, get tall. Exhale, let's fold. I like to reach past and grab the vine. So if you're doing that, the left hand reaches past and grabs the right wrist. It would have been the opposite on the first side. Keep your right toes flexed back. Reach with your chest, reach with your chin. Try not to just round over that leg. Inhale, lengthen, exhale. Inhale, rise up all the way. Let's move right into Mari Chasana so we don't run out of too much time. Now we're gonna bend that right knee back. This time let's find a twist. We haven't done any twists at all today. So right toes come back. A little space between the right toes, left inner thigh. Right hand comes back behind you. And we're going to bring the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Now you can catch the bind here if you'd like to. Totally your choice, your preference. Really what I want you to focus on though is really getting a nice deep juicy twist here through the spinal axis. Massaging those inner organs. Left toes are still flexed back, still active. Heart is lifting, shoulder blades are down. One more breath. And inhale, let's come back through center. Straighten out that right leg, bend the left knee. And let's find that twist, left hand behind, right elbow to the outside of the left knee. And let's find that twist. Pull that low belly in to create a little bit of space. Lift your heart. Engage your right leg. Keep your sit bones planted. Looking gently over the left shoulder. Let your breath be smooth and steady as it's a bit harder to breathe whenever we're twisting. Inhale, let's come back through center. Let's vinyasa this time. So, Cross the ankles, give that little bump up. Maybe you can roll all the way over and send them back. I am doing enough just talking while I'm working, so let's come back through, sit down, cross the ankles, or jumping all the way through wherever you need to be. Let's move right into Bhattapanasana. Bring the soles of the feet together, as close as you comfortably can to the body without straining the knees. And then peel your feet open, pinky toe side together, big toe side opening up. And as you do, then the hips can nice and easily externally rotate to whatever degree. Don't force, don't press the knees down. They don't like that. <laughs> Pull that low belly in, lift that pelvic floor, gently drop your chin and reaching with your heart. Then we fold. Those feet peeled open. That way you still have that nice external rotation of the hips. If your knees ever start to talk to you here, please back off. Please create more space, back off. Your knees do not need to take the beating for what should have been a hip, a hip job. Inhale, rise up. Let's move right into Upavishta. Open up the legs. Not too wide, nothing crazy. Flex the toes back towards the face. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Now, if you can't grab the sides of the feet, you could maybe grab the big toes or maybe just reach the arms along the shins or even if you have to, forearms down between the legs. But be where you need to be and working towards either dropping the nose, dropping the chin, or maybe even the chest. Keep the toes flexed back, stay active. Next inhale, let's lift up halfway. Exhale, inhale all the way up. Let's bring the legs together and right into our bridge posture. Now, if bridge is a little too easy for you, you don't want to do bridge, you are welcome to take order of the asana. We're just gonna do one back bend. So I'll work in bridge. Feel free to take the back bend of your choice. Shoulder blades down and together if you're working in bridge. Heels just outside of the sit bones. 
And then as you push into your feet, keeping the legs parallel, inhale, let's lift up. Strong, active legs here, guys. Really lifting into your heart. Feeling your heart just lift towards the ceiling and open and expand. No turning your head from side to side here. You want to really protect your cervical spine. Inhale, lift an inch. Exhale, let's roll down nice and easy, one vertebrae at a time. And start to get a little comfy for our Shavasana. So we're just going to take some spinal twists, a little gentle movements before we settle into Shavasana. Let's start with just drawing that right knee in, extending the left leg out. And then let's cross that right knee over the left side of the body. Arms maybe open up to a T or like cactus branches. Find a little spinal twist as you look towards the right. Inhale through your nose. Exhale out your mouth. Just soften. Let's come back through center. Draw both knees in. Give yourself a little squeeze. And we'll take the second side. So squeeze that left knee in. Find that compression. Extend the right leg out in front of you. And then let's take that right leg over to, I'm sorry, take that left leg over to the right side of our mat. Arms open, unraveling, and gently looking over the left. Nice and easy on your neck. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, open your mouth. Let it go. Just let it go. As you inhale, pulling the knees back in. If you'd like maybe a little bit of happy baby, if that sounds good. Reaching towards the insides of the knees and then grabbing the pinky toe sides of the feet. A little rock from side to side, relaxing the hips. Or you can stay static. And let's start to extend and let go. So letting the legs come down onto the mat. Stretching out. Letting the toes just flop open. A little tuck of the shoulder blades as the arms soften down by the sides. Palms facing up. And you just begin to let it go. And just melt into your mat. You've created lots of good space. Cultivated lots of good energy. And now you have to just settle into this stillness so you can kind of absorb and really reap all the goodness of your practice. And I am going to leave you guys right there, resting in your Shavasana. I hope that was so good for you and made you feel a little bit more spacious, a lot more calm bit more energy too. You guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for letting me practice with you, guiding you in this journey. My name is Kelsey on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. Make sure you give me a follow over there. Like this video so you can come back and follow and use it again and again. Share it on your social medias. You rest. Have a good day. Drink your water. Namaste.